Hello everyone. So let us discuss today with respect to LBDT that is linear variable differential transformer with respect to sensors and transducers. So here the LBDT basically which is a type of a variable uh, induction transducers which you can see here it's basically a variable inductance transducer why it is called as a variable inductance transducer because so this LBDT the name itself says that it is something a transformer it's a linear variable differential transformer where I'm trying to vary my inductance of the transformer hence it is a type of a variable inductance okay and it is also a passive type the active and passive type based on that uh, it is a passive type of a uh, device uh, where LVDT so let us see the construction of LVDT first here if you look at here this LVDT consists of a primary winding a single primary winding and it consists of a two secondary windings you can see here there are two secondary windings and one primary winding so this secondary windings are connected such a way that the EMF induced in the secondary winding S1 and S2 which are opposite to each other okay so that's the reason the connections are not the uh, normal way which you can see here the EMF and this will be opposite to each other the same way which is being connected here so this is how on the core of a transformer the primary and secondary surplus here if you look at here the primary winding is here which will be supplied with a AC supply and the secondary is here so which is in series here the windings are connected in series such a way that the both the EMF windings are opposing and these windings are placed on a movable core which you can see the, the core this is my core here so now whenever you apply any mechanical input it could be your movement or displacement or any kind of a mechanical uh, displacement which will be uh, connected to this movable core so whenever the force is applied here let us take uh, the force has been applied here so now what happens because of the force this movable coil will move down so whenever the coil moves down so if you observe here the EMF induced with respect to the secondary coil so this coil will increase that is E2 will be higher compared to the E1 so E1 will be less here E2 will be high whenever the core moves below the same if it happens whenever the core moves a little bit let us say upward so it is going back now so in that case what happened the secondary EMF will be reduced the secondary EMF the E2 will get reduced whereas E1 will increase so this is how the EMF induced in the both the coil get exchanged it will be increase or decreasing so finally the output voltage will be V0 will be your e1 minus e2 because as already mentioned in the construction itself so the output voltage is where we can see that opposing each other so whatever the finally uh, the left out voltage after subtracting the left out voltage will be this one this v0 will be proportional to the displacement the displacement which is happened because of my a mechanical input which you can see here so the force which have been applied to move the core so based on that the output voltage will be produced the output will be proportional to the even so this is how i can measure the mechanical input using the LVDT over here which converts your mechanical input to the electrical output here so this is another device of same thing which has been explained over the LVDT so where they make use of a uh, primary coil over here and you can see the secondary coils two secondary coils have been placed here and this is a movable core so to this uh, move the movable core they are using the bellows here so where the pressure mechanical pressure will be applied in the previous case we have been see the displacement has been applied the force has been applied in the previous uh, diagram here so whereas in this diagram i can say that uh, the force will be applied here some force will be given or uh, pressure will be given because of the pressure the bellows will create a pressure here the compression the tension will happen here because of that the movable core will move 
the forward or the backward based on that once again the resistance the emf induced in this e2 okay and here e1 so this will increase or decrease based on the direction so based on the direction where the co core is moving so in that way the output voltage will be measured here so coming to some of the advantages here if you look at here it has high output it gives a very high output and uh, the transistor is possible of a high sensitivity which will be of 40 volts per mm it can generate a 40 volts per 1 mm of a deflection which is happening because of the mechanical input and most of the LED consumes uh, very less power that is less than one watt it consumes very less power right because of the transformer and less friction and less noise due to the absence of sliding contact there is no any sliding contact only movable contact is present because of that we can say it has a less friction here and uh, it can operate a temperature from minus 265 degree celsius to 600 degree celsius that is also one of the advantages so few advantages i have been discussing here let us see the disadvantages so the transistors are sensitive to stray magnetic field so hence i can't make use where the uh, shielding is not possible okay in that case i can't make use of that and uh, it uh, the receiving instrument must be selected to operate on ac signal or demonitor network must be used if the dc output is required so many of the case i am generating that mechanical input to the ac output if you record a dc output then these of the some things need to be modified over there and coming to the application here you can see material thickness with the horse strip and the slab uh, steel mills in oscillometer they may use and jet engine control the close uh, proximity and exhaust gases in that case also we can make use of the airability so airability is not suited for dynamic measurement so whenever the this uh, displacement the mechanical input is varying fastly in that case airability can't be used so it should be a static uh, measurement then only it can be applied okay so this is with respect to the airability thank you